Close. Are you close? Back from the gym. That coverage is so good. I think James definitely correlates a lot with what I'm going through, but also at the same time. Here are you. Really something I needed to hear. I'm in this parking lot and they're probably like, girl. Let's see where the rest of this day takes me. This is what I gotta do every morning. How I get my shape. It's like, girl, what what happened? We're already in your uh in your book. Don't play with a don't be decided. Still not understanding this logic hey, Back in a better Welcome back to the channel. I am Alexis. And if you're new here, welcome to the channel. I make lifestyle content, relatable content. A young woman in her 20s navigating life. Very, very busy girl, always on the go, always doing things, but with Christ as the forefront and center of it all. What life is really like, and hopefully you see yourself within my videos. Coming to you from back home, I feel like the lighting is eh. I'm not really feeling this lighting, but I am in my old bathroom, a bathroom my brother and I share. I am actually from the Midwest. I was born in Georgia where I just came from, but I was raised in Indiana. I've been raised here all my life and then I went back to Georgia for school. I'm actually hurrying up to get ready for church, but I wanted to start this video just to say hey, just to peek in. I actually got back in yesterday, so I'm definitely going to catch y'all up on why I'm here, what I'm doing. I'm back home for one week, but I'll catch you up after church because I'm trying to hurry up and go to church. I'm going to my brother's church. My brother asked me if I go to church with him because, you know, we're a sibling that praises the Lord. We're a sibling that praises the Lord. So obviously my church home is back in Georgia and... I wasn't sure if I was going to church or not. I really just wanted to rest, but he asked me and I brought an outfit just in case I go to church, but it's like a two piece set from Pretty Little Thing. It's not like the lighting is so, so bad, but yeah. Two piece set from Pretty Little Thing. And then I have on this cute bag from Marshalls. I think it's so cute. That's the only bag I brought here just so I could have something cute, but I'm really just trying to relax this week. But yeah, we're about to hurry up and go to church. Church starts at 11, it's like 1040. I had to sleep in, I was so exhausted, but I hurried up to get up and get ready. So I'm gonna talk to y'all after. Let's go to church. And also, if it's Sunday for you, happy Sunday. If it was a person, it would be Mikhail. I could see it. They really can, really can. Hurt. When he said that, I was like, bro, that was my girl. That was that, my best That was my bro. What? When, when do I not I cry at church? <laughs> We're about to go get lunch. Love you. Yeah, tubula, hummus. Can I have like a side of like pita bread? Oh, thank you. Heavenly Father, just thank you for this kind of fellowship with each other. And we'll catch up. Right, amen. Amen. Everything is closed. RJ had a really good pizza and I was just like, you know what, I'm at home, let me let loose a little bit. Now I just have one slice, just one slice, and I'll be back on my egg game. They, oops, oh, they're going in now. Close. Are you close? <laughs> Y'all, BRB. What? We made this. Screwed. I'm like, throw both in there. Girl. We're trying samples. I'm just gonna pick up a few things um, since I'm gonna be here for a week. So nothing too crazy, just some things I can eat while in the house. Oh girl, I look crazy. It says closed in about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna hurry up and get some things. It's been such a day. I spent the day, the rest of the day with Marge. So that's why I've been in my head, catching up with my girl. It's such a story, I'm gonna tell y'all later. But yeah, so we're about to do that. Hurry up and BRB. Good morning, it is Monday, it is a new day. Y'all, I look, no, this, I woke up, I woke up and it's a new day. So we have not started getting like touched up and things, so 
please i'm about to go to the gym i'm trying to decide if i want to do a run at the park because i really have been working on my endurance i used to be an endurance runner and then slowly stopped and so i really have been running a lot that's why i've been doing a lot back in georgia i'm trying to not find my balance basically between my new split because now i'm changing my split and so i'm trying to figure out if i want my split to be like i run first at the park and then i do like my strength training and stuff like that at the gym but i feel like that's so much especially when you just have stuff to do i mean you're an adult you have other things you gotta do so you gotta fit in what you can fit in i just feel like i wouldn't be able to always maintain running at the park and let me know are you like a treadmill person or a park person i'm definitely a park person i don't really like being on the treadmill as much but i do run on a treadmill obviously so i'm trying to decide especially with me about to start you know my my master's program very soon i don't know if i even have shared that with y'all have i shared about i'm about to start my master's i don't think i've shared that yeah we're, we i'm definitely after this video i'm for sure i'm gonna be doing like a sit down or want to do a really sit down type of talk situation especially to connect with those that i feel like if you are in that same space either if you're going to different schooling like higher or you're just in a big transition season let's talk about it let's talk about it because that's really what this whole season of mine has been so yeah i'm trying to figure out my split basically sorry i'm probably like talking here even if you care to hear about this, but to my workout gym people. In other news, where I'm at, I am at home. I am, well, my second home now. First or second, I don't know the order right now at this point. Georgia has slowly become my home. I've been in Georgia now for three years, which is so crazy to think about. And Georgia has slowly become my home. And also Indiana is my home because this is where I was raised. And this is where my parents and my brother's here and all that stuff. I am here just for the week. I hate starting my days late, but lately I've been so exhausted and... I just let myself sleep in and so it is very much so late in the day let me just say it. it's late in the morning not day but late in the morning but i woke up i read a little out of my devotional i started reading first few pages of john i think i want to read john i might read james i think james definitely correlates a lot with what i'm going through but also at the same time i think i might read john finish that and then i go into james so that's what we're doing okay but yesterday y'all yesterday hopefully this is not bad lighting hopefully y'all can still focus on what i'm saying but yesterday was a really very nice sunday i don't know if y'all really heard much but i visit my brother's i visit my brother's church i just saw familiar faces um i've always grew up in the church i've always grew up in a christian household i saw familiar faces and like my old friend that was like my bestie in middle school another one of my old friends that we grew up in the church together basically she's like a year or two younger than me and she just has sprouted into a beautiful young woman and so has my old friend from middle school it was more so like beautiful for me to see because i know everybody's life it's not as simple as that we all have had our trials and our struggles to get to this point and just to see how everybody ended up at that same church and yeah just speaking to them and like you know those relationships where nothing happened it was no issue it was no bad fallout nothing like that it just life happens where things just slowly have progressed maybe your circle changed the bond didn't stay whatever even before indiana it was slowly fading but it was nothing bad it just you know life happened so it just was so nice for us all come and it was like nothing was different that was definitely nice definitely needed i definitely wanted to just chill in and rest and i was gonna watch like a sermon online and ate and just chilled we just chilled so my friend she came and she just dropped me back off at the house she came in and then we just talked even more i am actually when i come back to georgia so the minute immediately when i come back to georgia in a week i will be moving into my new apartment so many things to talk about y'all it's so many things it's so many things to talk about it's like girl what what happened where are we in your uh in your book like you're we just looking at pinterest looking at amazon we were just talking about houses and like can't wait to be homeowners and all those different things all those cute things yeah that was my sunday it was still a very very nice sunday and now it's monday and now it's actually officially the beginning of the week and now it's officially july 1st <sighs> we are headed to go to the gym my next vehicle y'all i want an suv so bad i just love feeling higher in the air i don't know if that's like weird or if you get what i'm saying little keys i feel like a natural definitely encourage you if you don't work out if you're not a gym person if you're not really active definitely encourage you to find some type of form where you can get your body moving whether that's walks whether that's run whether that's swimming whether that is cardio you know hikes biking 
you know whatever lifting there's so many different forms of fitness and there's definitely something i believe for everyone whether that's high impact low impact so definitely just make sure to move your body benefits and just having a routine feeling like you accomplish something help with your mental state your emotional state and yeah and obviously with that you are obviously helping your body and your physical you know needs and start incorporating it into your routine back from the gym Mm, I feel like I'm making it worse. Anyways, you know when it's not the worst workout, but it's not like your best workout and it also just felt meh, like you just felt meh. It's one of those workouts where it's like, all you can do is just talk positively to yourself when you have workouts where it just wasn't your best workout, where you just weren't feeling it, where you just didn't feel that push you needed to feel. All external elements were getting in the way. Just feel proud of yourself that you moved your body any way that you could. But yeah, we're about to hurry up, get back, eat, and then definitely shower, put on some clothes, and uh, get on with this day. find my never mind i got it i was trying to find my um body oil i just put some body oil on it smells so good in this bathroom it just smells so tropical in here it just smells so 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 good i was smelling it as i was walking to the bathroom to be honest i'm not having the best day honestly and i'm trying to stay encouraged or just stay like keep it pushing no matter what putting on my black girl sunscreen i'm honestly not that great at staying consistent with sunscreen i used to not wear sunscreen but i know it's a big thing at least a lot of people now are wearing it i've been trying to remember to do that when i can i definitely would say before i did put on the sunscreen this i bought this travel size little bottles and i poured my facial rose water in there so the full bottle is back in georgia at my apartment i just poured a little bit in the funnel into this bottle because i didn't need obviously a lot for this one bottle i definitely recommend after you finish washing your face i use this only in the morning i spray this on my face after i wash it and then i go in with my shea butter on my face and that is the trick i feel like i look so dark i don't know if it's from this angle it's definitely brighter on this side that coverage is so good just putting concealer under my eyes i'm doing nothing really today is the one by nars it is medium deep biscuit i mentioned this i think in my last vlog that was my first time trying that shade because before that shade i was using caramel which i loved but i just wanted something that was a little lighter just something that gave me a little lighter under eye and i really am liking this so far y'all can see how it's just very yeah I do want to get some new summer lip combos or just lip combos in general. I always stick to like my same lip combo. I also did a Walmart pickup order. I forgot about that. And it did notify me that it's ready. So I need to go pick that up. Just something small. And then also I need to return something. Which I'm so disappointed about. But it's okay. I can get a new one. Walmart pickup. What the? Y'all see the shine all on my face? I see like glitter all on my face and I'm like where does this glitter come from and it's the setting spray I'll see this I'm gonna show you the sink I just sprayed in the sink that has never happened before so clearly I might what might be added to the agenda is getting a setting spray because that's the only one I brought okay my face does look cute though like it looks just very glowy I like it but definitely it's a whole bunch of glitter right here and I don't know what happened with my setting spray. So that's another thing that just got added. So now, what is up y'all? Looking good, feeling a little better. I'm waiting for my app to upload. It's taking forever. Well, app to update, my Walmart app. I forgot which Walmart I um, ordered to pick up from. So I'm trying to see which one that was, but the app wanted to update for some reason right now. And then from over there, I believe there's a UPS store and I'm gonna do that, drop that off run into a store give me a new makeup setting spray i don't know if y'all can see i don't think y'all can see it but it's literally like it looks like somebody put a whole bunch of highlighter on my face like this is like i don't y'all can't tell y'all can't tell but yeah i don't know what was in the bottle i don't know if that happens when it runs out but yeah so i'm gonna do that my parents literally just came back as i left they were like where are you going like my mom started running to the car it was so cute i'm in this parking lot and they're probably like girl 
I had to pull it to the side because I was waiting for the Walmart app to update. I really want to wash my hair, honestly. I don't know if I'm going to wash it today. Because if I wash my hair, I like to do that at the beginning of the day, if anything. I don't really go by porosities and that type of stuff. But if I did, I would say my hair is low porosity. Therefore, it takes forever for my hair to dry. But So I don't know. If I don't, then I definitely am going to do that early in the morning. Which means tomorrow, we are not... We're going to still prioritize rest. Don't get me wrong. But we are not sleeping in. We are not sleeping in. We, got, we want to get up and going. So also because tomorrow will be a day I see people, so. Let's go. Hi. Thank you. You're welcome, have a good day. You too. I was going to get my NYX setting spray as usual, but I kind of am in the mood to try a different setting spray. Hey y'all, my face is so dry, don't mind that. As you can see, if you know, you know, I currently have the conditioner in my hair and I don't wanna put any facial cream or anything on my face if I'm about to wash this out anyways and then it's just gonna drip down my face. Finally, I know I spoke about it yesterday, I was so ready to wash my hair and so it's now being washed. Y'all, my dad just got back home. So I was talking to him for a bit. But hello, how are you? It is Wednesday. Clearly this whole vlog, I keep saying time is not on my side because time is not on my side. It's 1.47 and it will take a while for me to do my hair. So we're going to hurry up and get a move on. I'm about to wash this out and then I'm going to put in the styling products and then sit under a hooded dryer for it to dry. I do sit under a hooded dryer for my hair to dry. I think I want to do a separate video strictly for natural hair. We are back. If you are new here, I got my hair cut November 10th. So this is, I believe, six months since the chop. If you want to know what my hair journey has looked like, definitely I have a highlight. I have a highlight section on my Instagram that is called Chop Diaries that you are able to see the progress. I wish I documented it more on YouTube. You know, I don't want this to be a strictly hair page, but at the same time, I've had a very, very personal and just growing relationship with my hair my relationship with my hair that i would love to speak to people regardless because i do think it's something that can really help people definitely let me know if you want me to make a separate video just talking about hair talking about my hair journey talking about what i did for my hair to get to this point as my leaving i'm using the sold tonicals i love sold tonicals i have not used them as much but whenever i do i just love it i love the ingredients they have the first two ingredients are water and aloe i love anything with aloe i just really love this product and i really love this brand so the order i do is leave-in mousse and gel that's it and not listening to all the gimmicks and tricks and stress of you know the natural hair community because some things are just not needed for your hair and it can add more stress to you and your hair if you're only if you're always trying to pack on more and more trying to figure out what your hair needs but you really just need to start at the basics just look at that this side is already done it's already feeling so soft hello how's your day going Give it to my family and I to be the ones that are late to a movie. The plan was not to um, meet them or drive separate, but that's just what happened with time. I was with my two girls. I haven't seen it forever. And it's just so crazy just to see how everything has come full circle, how God restores, how God just brings things all together with his rightful hand. Yeah, the time with them was so funny, and I'm so glad that I was able to see them again. So until next time, but... So I'm currently waiting on them. I'm pretty sure that's them. That's crazy. What is happening? Y'all, uh, don't mind me. I just got back from the gym and it actually was a really good session. I'm actually now driving back to the house and I'm currently on the highway because the gym I went to, so the gym I've been going to since I've been down here, it's closed today because today is the 4th of July. My brother, who was also was leaving, he gave me his gym membership to this gym that I went to. The gym was 24 hours open and you have to have like a key access to do it. Um, so he gave me that and so I was really nervous because I'm a big gym goer and I definitely have got comfortable where I can be like the only girl in the gym and feel okay. Like I can 
No, but it's always something where you go to a gym you are not familiar with or it's not your gym and so you like don't know where equipment's at, you don't want to look like you're confused, lost, whatever, whatever, but everybody's been there so, but yeah, I definitely was feeling those things so I was contemplating on not just going and just maybe just making it a rest day, but I was like, no, I want to do back and bicep and stay on the split because um, I've been consistent this whole time since I've been back home, which is good. So I went to the gym and honestly, I'm so glad I went. The beginning of this week really has started off rough with me working out, like my workouts just haven't been it. But between yesterday and then today, I'm like, okay, we finishing the week strong because today was definitely a good workout. I definitely called my brother though when I was in there, like, where is this at? Where is this at? Because I was not trying to look confused up in there. Nonetheless, we did our thing and just had confidence no matter what. And so today was back and bicep. I had a really good pump, a really good back and bicep day. My back is definitely sore. I already feel it. I'm sorry if you're shaking. Like I said, I don't have my actual thing because it's not my car, so. And all I'm doing is, like, it'll kind of... Like, back home. Hey, y'all, what is up? It is Friday, July 5th already. Literally... Where is the time going, y'all? It's very rainy, very gloomy. I don't know if y'all can see. So I did a morning run today. I did a recovery run. I'm feeling so sore. I am proud of myself, even though my body feels so tired. But I am proud of myself because I literally worked out every single day since I've been back. I'm so glad that I stayed on it. If anything, I was more disciplined being back and just staying on top of things. And I literally stayed and worked out every single day. So now I'm trying to decide because when I went to visit my brother's church on Sunday that I told you about, met a very very sweet sweet person a sweet lady that wanted to actually get lunch with me today saying I see something in you really something I needed to hear and so I'm sorry there's like so many people coming out like now that I just parked there's just so many people are coming out at once right now yeah so anyways I'm posting me with her it's 152 we're supposed to meet together at 2 30 so I'll see y'all most likely after that but yeah I was just sitting here finishing and eating um and I was like, you know, I think you should go on a juice detox after this. Like, I just need to reset my body after this week, okay? So, I get back, best believe, we getting this body right and tight. Good morning. It is a new day. It is Saturday, and my mom and I, I think, are about to go to the farmer's market. It closes at 1, and it's like 11 something, so we're trying to hurry up. I woke up super late. I didn't go to sleep, y'all. I was struggling so bad. I didn't go to sleep till like 3 a.m. Let me know if you watch This Is Us. This Is Us is a show I've been binge watching on Netflix. I know a lot of people have seen it. It's not like a new show or nothing, but I was up watching it and I just couldn't fall asleep and I didn't end up going to sleep till like 3 something. So I wanted to touch base. I wanted to like talk again after yesterday. The last time we spoke, it was... The last time we spoke, I was going to meet up with the lady I mentioned before. It's just a word that was giving me a lot, so... Obviously, I'm going to talk about it, but this is something I have to keep with me and God right now. So, also, your girl's still in the house. I don't know if y'all remember, but I was actually supposed to leave. Let me, let me continue to get ready. But I was actually supposed to leave this morning. We were supposed to travel down. So, the reason I'm still here is because things were changed where actually now I will be flying tomorrow. So, my parents are going to drop me off at the airport and I'm going to be flying back tomorrow I'm trying to find my lip liner i was supposed to go back today they're gonna help me move in because i move into my new apartment monday y'all oof i move into my new apartment monday they were willing to come down and um help me so today is now officially my last day my mom and i are trying to hurry up and get to this farmer's market one thing about me i love a good farmer's market i i really got into farmer's markets i think because my mom she always went to farmer's markets and I tagged one time and I just love the vibe. I just love the vibe. And so we're supposed to go to this one farmer's market that happens here every Saturday 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. I've only been, this will only be my second time now since I don't live here anymore. I definitely want to find more farmer's markets in Georgia. The farmer's markets I go to in Georgia are like at Piedmont Park and stuff like that. But I definitely want to find some more, some bigger ones at that. My mom also wants to get her nails done. So I think we're doing that and I'm going to get a pedicure. We don't know what time. Yeah, today since the last day. I'm just here, girl. I don't know what I'm doing, but yeah, a lot has changed. Y'all, she's like, girl, y'all can't even, bro. This is what I'm wearing. I'm just wearing this black shorts, this shirt. This shirt is super cute. I haven't worn this in a long, long, long time. Let's see where the rest of this day takes me. 
This is what I gotta do every morning. How I get my shape. And like the curls are just going everywhere they wanna go. Mm. For the next five minutes to get it right. Hey everybody. In this heat, he just walked over here. I love the sun, but I don't really. Yeah, you're from Texas. This should be easy for you. Well, We're just waiting on our drinks. <laughs> Wait a minute, got our drinks. Here are you. Now the farmers market's about to close, but hopefully some places are still open for food. So I'm so hungry. But as this frappuccino. I'm, one thing about me, I'm a sucker when it comes to frappuccinos. Anything, coffee, frappuccino, count me in. We got food and now it is time to go. I just got to the nail salon. Mom is about to get a manicure. I'm about to get a pedicure. We're about to have like a little girl's moment. My dad is about to go to the store while we go and do our little girl thing. So yeah, I don't know what color I'm going to get yet. I think I kind of want something popish for summertime. So we're going to see. Picked out pineapple because they said for you can get a free cake for oil. So, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm picking one out and then mom just picked one out. I think we got the same one. I don't know if you can see this. Mom and I start about to make a TikTok. Do you wanna do After making a TikTok, press my button. Good morning. So, yeah, about to head to the airport saying our final goodbyes and talk and things like that and then I will be back in Atlanta, Georgia and I already know this unpacking situation when I get back Oof, but yeah so I'm gonna just be with the family for a bit say my goodbyes have a last time and then I will be and get to the airport